In this video, we're going to take a look at my go-to tent, the Raccoon 2.1 from OEX. Why is the Raccoon 2.1 from OEX my go-to tent? Well, it's just a really good tent, especially for the price. It retails at anywhere between kind of 80 and 100 pounds, generally speaking, from Go Outdoors, a outdoor shop in the UK. From a reputable brand, I trust OEX, they produce good quality tents, and in my testing so far, it has held up really well. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at its features take a look at some of the specs maybe, and then we'll have uh, a wrap up and my opinions on it. So here's the tent itself. I got it in a green, an olive green color. The pictures on Go Outdoors show it in coyote brown. I ordered that one and this is what came. However, I would prefer this anyway. So as I say, this is, a two, this is the Raccoon 2.1 tent. Let's just zoom out a little bit. So, it says 2.1 in the name, and it is a two-person tent. However, and we'll take a look on the inside in a minute, it would be very tight with two people. So, this is your vestibule space. So, you've got this vestibule here. I've got one door tied open. Both doors on this side can be tied open. So, if I unpeg this here, I could roll this door up and get it nice and open. And on the other side, we've got the exact same. So we've got a complete set of doors and vestibules on both sides of the tent. Which do mean if you are sleeping with two people, if you are camping with two people, you can easily get in and out of this tent. We've got four guy lines. Now I did a little bit of a modification with this and tied them on at the bottom. Normally they're just tied on here. But I went ahead and tied it down to here. And you've got four of those, one on each corner. On each end, you've got a vent. So there's a mesh vent in there. You can see, there we go, mesh vent to let in some airflow. However, this tent does suffer quite badly from condensation, but never on the inner tent. Now, an immediate concern of mine when I first saw this tent was this relatively flat roof. I was concerned that it would uh, pool water in the middle and it wouldn't really flow off. However, in my testing so far, it's not been too bad, some slight pooling, but deal, uh, it's easy enough to deal with. Also, this tent has a, I believe, 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head in OEX's fabric, which is actually covered in the OEX logo, which I quite like, um, which means that this tent will put up with pretty much most of the conditions here in the UK. I wouldn't put this in high, in extremely high winds, however, because we've got some quite big panels that are quite difficult to get really tight. However, no worries in rain. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the inner tent. So to open the tent, the inner tent, you've got two zips, two, two, both two way zips, and it just unzips up and over and around like so there's a little pocket here to tuck the door into and you've got a door on the other side both doors feature this half moon kind of shaped uh, mesh panel which i tend to leave open you've got a big mesh panel at both ends you have a 4000 millimeter hydrostatic head on the bottom you have two storage pockets at either end there is a hook for a lantern on the on one side and there is plenty room to lay down. So let's just get in here and you can see 
I'm six foot, six foot one, and I'm not touching the bottom or the top here. Just enough room, and then plenty room down the side for gear. However, I'm now against the edge of the tent, and it would be snug with two people. Vestibule space again, pretty substantial, and it's nice that you can open these doors and look out. So what I've now done is I've opened the tent completely up, both doors on both sides and the inner, and you could see that we can see all the way through it. And this is one of my very favorite features of this tent, is that you can completely open it up. So on them really warm summer days, or if you need to air out the tent, it's really nice and easy. You can sit inside, you can look out, and you're pretty much really in nature. Not quite as much as maybe a tarp, but it's really nice and open. So there we go. That is my OEX Raccoon 2.1 semi-lightweight backpacking tent. As I said at the beginning, this is my go-to tent. This is the tent that I use most of the time. It's really quite good, really comfortable, really spacious, pretty lightweight, pretty small in pack size. Uh, I'll, throw a clip at, I'll throw a photo at the end of the pack size with some measurements uh, as well as the information for this tent. If you're interested in checking it out, visit the link down below. Have a look on the channel because at the same time this video goes up, there will be another three videos covering my other two tents in detail like we did in this video, as well as one video overviewing tents in general. So check that out on the channel. Thank you for watching. Get out there and have some fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.